everybody. Welcome back to Champion's Journey. This is Rich Johnson and I am at the site of the 2021 Stanwood Camino Windermere uh, All-American Soapbox Derby Local. We've got 77 cars out here today and we're going to have an awesome time. Weather is great. We're getting the track ready to go weighing in drivers. I'll have a, a, a segment on that coming up in, in an upcoming video, but today I would like to introduce um, our um, uh, video of the uh, racing that we did over the fall. So this is going to be a compilation of racing that we did in Vegas, Sanford, Florida, and then the USDR Invitational in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So come on along. All right, we're here in Wendover, Nevada in front of the famous Wendover Will. This is the home of the Bonneville Speedway where they like to go really fast. Scuderia Veloce running with the big boys. All right, it's windy out here, but we're at the Bonneville Salt Flats on our way down to Vegas for a race. Wanted to stop here and check it out. We're thinking of maybe come back racing here at some point or at least come visit Speedway next year. Say hi to Derby Nation, guys. Our first uh, day of racing on this long trip we're out here in Nevada. It's sorry for the uh, This is where we raced last year. It's a, a kind of a slope parking lot with some big ramps, probably 20 mile an hour race. Uh, Ronan had his first uh, first phase, won the first phase, but um, but we're not through our first heat yet. Uh, we got seven Masters cars. That's a nice little deal. And it looks like it's going to be a good day. It's a little cooler this year, a little windier than last year. All right. Hey Ronan, what do you think of this uh, balmy desert weather we have today? Feels like back home. <laughs> it feels like the northwest. A yeah. little bit cool, a little bit breezy, but it stayed dry anyway. That's good. So we'll get the race done. All right, Ronan, where, what are we doing here? Uh, just finished racing in Vegas, and now we're setting our car up for Florida. That's right. What happened here in Vegas? Screwed up. Yeah, yeah, I think I didn't. Something wasn't right on the car because it was kind of a wonky race for us. But anyway, we got got a few points, had some fun with our friends in Vegas, and now we're off to hopefully a little warmer weather. See you in Florida. All right, bye. Alright, say hi to Derby Nation. You know we love our side trips and uh, we're uh, here in New Orleans today, the French Quarter, eating um, beignets, French donuts, and cafe au lait at the oldest bakery in New Orleans and listening to some jazz music. Wave everybody. All right, well, we're out here racing in uh, Sanford, Florida, which is a suburb of Orlando. Line one, Alexis Hill, point here. one four three by seven thousandths. Nice field Alexis today, good competitive racers. You can see it's a uh, dedicated track. Pits are at the bottom, nice flat pit area. We'll get some video of that later. And uh, 
Uh, it's just a really outstanding setup here. Very efficient uh, crew they have here, volunteers, keeping this thing clipping. Here we've got the Thomases from West Virginia racing, and you know, there are gator cars it looks like here. Go for a run here in lane two. Here's Bella arriving up here with her car. She just had a double phase. Uh, she's in the consolation bracket. She had a double phase, so she's rolling it now. See if we can come back. We had a good race here. Alexa Guerin against Madden. Madden and has four, four brothers racing, uh, all with Mad as the start of their name. So they're the Mad Boys racing team. It's kind of cool. Today's event here was a Toys for Tots drive, so the fee to enter the race for each kid was $50 worth of toys. And I think there were a few generous people because they got quite a pile of toys here for the little kids. That's an awesome thing to do, and we're getting ready to do trophies in between the uh, first and second race of the day. Here's your uh, morning nap here, or stock changes. Logan Webb. First place, select the game second. And then we have the carrot, 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 boys, and third. Okay, there's the super stock winners, Noah and Dakota Thomas in second and first. And the young uh, Miss Webb from Georgia is in third. <laughs> second place, there's a list This is the uh, finish line area here at Sanford in the pit area. You can see kind of over here that's the scale house and then where the cars come to pick up. And they've got a big barn over here where they keep all their equipment. It's really cool. Really nice facility. Great people. Really friendly here. Having a great time racing. It's probably about 80 degrees out, um, which is pretty nice for November weather. Yes, it is. <laughs> Say hi to Derby Nation. <laughs> oh, awesome. And so we just have some little things like that around. That... That's great. This is the Derby Barn here in Sanford, Florida. It's quite a, it's got to be a game changer being able to keep all your equipment in here. Absolutely. That's nice. I mean, we had some walk-ons this morning and we just, sure, pull the car out. Like awesome. Right here. So, there's a <laughs> the walk-on. All right, racing late in the day here in Sanford. Um, the only one that masters uh, double and it's in the final round for the single. So it's been going good. We got the fi uh, last few rounds of stocks going here. This is Alexa Guerin from Georgia and uh, Logan Webb, one of the local drivers here in Florida. A couple of awesome drivers. Get in lane go. two, Alexa Mello, point zero six three. <laughs> It's Mark Ferdinand sitting there, 77 All-American Junior Champion. He's running a couple cars out here. There they go. Are we getting garbage? We did, yeah. Get in there. Getting everybody set up for a photo with the toys, all the racers. <laughs> and a couple of maybe future racers. There's Eric, our regional director and local club leader. Hey, Ron, what do you think of racing here in Sanford, Florida? Uh, other than my hat's popping up, I like it. Yeah, that would be your pit crew. I, I think maybe about hiring a new pit crew. Uh, this one's been letting you down a little bit today, but we got through it all right. Yeah, we got a first place and a second. Yeah, that's not bad. Bad. Good racing against some uh, tough cars here down in Florida. All right. All right, we're on one of our uh, 
side trips here and we found ourselves here on Tatooine. Hey guys, wave to everyone from outer space. This is a pretty spectacular world we find ourselves in here. At Star Wars land. When we go on these derby trips, you, we end up staying in a lot of hotels, and I'd say this is um, one of the creepier ones we've been in. A little sketchy, but you gotta take a room where you can get a room. <laughs> Well, we're out here getting ready to start Legacy and Round Bottom Racing at the Invitational. Uh, they got a really cool new timing system here with uh, timers at every fifth interval along the track. And I think it's where those cones are at. And um, that is going to give a feed out ticket to this little printer here that will give a ticket to everybody and during practice runs and show them what their time is. So um, at those points so they can work on tuning a little bit. You know, panning over here, you see the scaling area, registration tent, and then down there, you got the first of the trailers arriving. The bulk of people are gonna be arriving later today for the stock and super, but these are these are the hardcore folks in Round Bottom and Legacy who are out early this morning. Nice morning here in Chattanooga. You got Al Darren getting his daughter Amber in for the first run of the 2020 Invitational. This is a fire run, actually. Ambry had an illustrious derby career and is back here at it here. Uh, Ronan going against Charlie here for King of the Hill in the Legacy race. And away they go. Ronan's got a nice line going there. Charlie does as well. The winning lane is two.
first is a hundred dollars. Okay? Or third is a hundred dollars, sorry. The top two cars, after you're done with your final, we need you to go through. It's going to be the uh, blue tent up there for inspection. Okay? We'll tear the first place car down. Second place, we will only touch your car if we have an issue with the first place car. Help me out with a lot of stuff. Uh, Joe Markowski, uh, Ray, who's at the bottom, he's from Chattanooga, he helps out with their local. Dave Hummel, who did all the, the timing system yesterday, I don't know if he's here yet, but thanks Dave. My dad's dad, who always helps us out with all the stuff we need. I think that's all for today, so I left anybody out, I'm sorry. Uh, two special awards, we do a, uh, we still do a long haul award back in the day, and I think, I'm pretty sure we checked this 2,613 miles that the Johnson family proved. We'd like to have it come up real quick. Well, this was an amazing trip we went on. Um, probably our most memorable of all time just because it lasted for almost a month. Uh, couldn't have done it without uh, the virtual COVID work environment um, and, and school environment. But uh, uh, got to see a lot of the country, a lot of great Derby friends, had a lot of racing action. Um, part of the channel here is trying to show you the Derby lifestyle. And this is what traveling rally can be, be about. It's um, just memories with the family that you can't believe. So 
we're uh, glad to be able to share that with you. Hey, we've had a lot of asking about the um, alignment video. It is coming. Uh, please be patient. Um, I did some shooting at our build clinics at the local here, uh, and unfortunately, the the sound wasn't didn't turn out well usable because it was very very windy that night. Uh, so I'm going to have to do some reshooting. It's going to delay that a little bit. So our next video will probably be about the local here, and then hopefully when we're done in Akron, I'll be able to get an alignment video together for you guys. Um, thanks again for your patience, and, and all the basics are in, in the first alignment video, but we're gonna try and have a hands-on demonstration. In the next one. Uh, all right, so um, see you at our next episode of Champion's Journey. Thanks.